And this is Second Hand Road, my vintage shop I've been running for six years. Through our joint passion for vintage, we've put together this book, Wearable Vintage Fashion. The book's from the perspective of a vintage shop owner, and we've tried to answer all the questions we get asked daily about styling and outfits to put together from the 20th century. In this video, we're looking at styling from the 1920s. The 20s has been a really popular request for us in the shop because of films like The Artist. Plenty of parties are going on, so people need a look to wear. So this is our 1920s look. It's a classic flapper style outfit. So the 20s was a really liberating time for women's fashion. It was the first time they could really have fun with what they wore. They didn't wear corsets, so they weren't really restricted, so you often had loose fitting garments or they might wear things that were more masculine and were more daring. Because Rachel hasn't got a bob, um, which is the classic 1920s hairstyle, we've hidden her hair behind this headscarf here just to create the illusion of a very short hairstyle. It's a good headscarf because fabrics like satins and silks were very popular, luxurious things. Everyone liked to show what they had money-wise. As you can see, the makeup is pretty severe. We've gone for quite an authentic look. You might want to soften it a little bit with um, a more natural lip line. You can see this is very unnatural with very elongated cupid's bow. Really dark eyes and just natural skin. It was the original heroin chic, I always like to think. Personally. <laughs> The key feature here on this dress is the drop waist, as you can see, and the slight um, movement at the bottom, either fringing or layering or pleats is what to look out for. It must be remembered that 1920s clothes now are so delicate and expensive. Finding something wearable from that decade is very rare. A good decade again to look to is the 1980s. This is a fab beaded cocktail dress. We've put really long strings of beads with this um, outfit, the really long necklace, classic flapper styles. For a cover up for the flapper, a common thing to go for would be a feather boa. Um, another good thing to think about is something like a cape or fur was very popular. We've gone for something which most people have in their wardrobes, a pashmina. It's, this one came from Egypt so it's got a bit of an eastern influence, adds a bit of glitz, it's got tassels and it will just add a bit of warmth if you're at a party in an evening. This style of bag on a chain is really um, classic for the 20s. This is actually um, a 60s one as you could probably tell but it looks the part, it's much more accessible and affordable than an original 20s bag. These are an original pair of 20s shoes and as you can see it's a really curvaceous heel on that, it's a very iconic heel shape. Um, Rachel's actually wearing a modern um, alternative for this outfit because these are absolutely teeny tiny. Dolly shoes, tea bars, lace ups are all popular styles of the era and look for more of a rounded toe than a sharp point. Got some long evening gloves to finish this look and the white contrasts really nicely with the with the black dress and goes with the white beads. We hope you found the video useful. It's just a snapshot of what's inside wearable vintage fashion. In here we cover all the eras of the 20th century. It's available to buy in April. And thanks for watching. Bye.